Hi everybody, just bringing you um, the latest journal I've done. It's a 6x4. Um, the paper I've used in it is the Kaiser Craft Teddy Bears Picnic. Um, it has got three signatures. Um, and the way that I did this one, I threaded, I put some um, ribbon on it and threaded the um, linen thread through it. And then it's just a simple twine binding. And then when I tied the centers, because they were all individual, when I tied the centers, I've hidden the knots in envelopes. I've done the elastic hairband closure with a Tim Holtz um, stud thing, whatever they are, and let's go inside. Okay, so corner flip, if I can get my fingernails to work. I um, to separate because I haven't used copy dyed paper. I put stitching around the edges of all the pockets. That has got a tag in it. Um, that's just a, a bag with a couple of fabric hearts up the top. This is a doily tuck with a belly band with two stamp, uh, two tickets in it. Um, this is out of the paper pack. I made it into a pocket, and it's just got stamped tag in it. That also opens up but I don't have anything on the inside. Um, some stamping. If I had a flower for every time you made me smile I'd be holding an entire bunch. That's a pocket also that I don't have anything in. A paper bag rather. A pocket. Love your bunch. And sending your bear hugs. This is a packet and in this I have just got one of the, it's the paper pack with the cards on it that I've put um, index card on the back so it can be journaled on. A tuck spot for the piece of the ephemera to hit. Tuck spot there. These are the envelopes that I've used my Crop it on and put holes in to do it. In this, I've got three pieces of ephemera out of the 6x6 um, paper stack, another flip up corner pocket, um, another tag. That's how that goes, extra journaling space. Close that in a minute. Put my hands in the way. Um, a paper bag with another one of the journaling cards in it. banner and tuck spot, same on that side, Just another tag and a tuck spot, another corner flip, um, this one says just a note and I've actually got a book in that one, I've only got eight minutes so I've got to hurry up and put that aside. Stamping in some hearts on that side, belly band, that sort of pocket that I glued the hearts down. Uh, a little tuck spot, that was actually to cover a mistake I made on the other side. Another one of those envelopes. This one's got bear hugs in it. Another corner flip. Another tuck spot with a tag in it, same on that side. Another bag, corner tuck spot, that's just stuck down. Another one of the journal cards, another belly band, another tuck spot. That's the centre that's also got ephemera in it, so I'm not going to open it. Another tag. Pocket. Another flip up tuck spot, same on that side. Another one of the journaling cards. This one I did with three. Um, I stamped these on, it was out of the ephemera kit. That one I glued down to hold it in so it doesn't fall through. I thought that was something different. Um, 
That's another paper bag. That's a tuck spot for you to tuck in there. Another tuck spot. Another side tuck spot. Now the last signature. Another corner flip. Same on that side. Another belly band. Another pocket. This one side loading with a little bingo card in it. Um, this is stuck down to hold that down so you can put things in it. Um, these ones, when I did these, um, it's just the one stamp and you stamp your first picture. And I've got one on a piece of paper that you can see and I just sit that over the top and then re-stamp so it doesn't actually go over it, which is a really good idea for all you newbies. Make the most out of your stamps. Another corner flip. Another pocket. Uh, corner flip, sorry. Another tag. That one opens. More ephemera in that. Another belly band. Another tuck with a tag in it, another pocket, fingers aren't working, a corner flip again, another one of these with the journaling cards in it, that one's a bingo card, another corner flip, another pocket. A friend is one of the nicest things to have and one of the nicest things to be. It's got stamping on that side, a doily tuck on the bottom to hold it in and that's the end of it that's the hairband tie so there you have it any questions please let me know and i will answer them as best i can for you thanks for watching bye